To the untrained eye, these two little fellas are identical, but not to Andrew. We can see that the original one, it has these markings underneath there on the thigh, which this one doesn't have. This one has got a very large eardrum there. It's about the same size as the eye. And they've also got very long toes. These have got um, the, this long toe here in the middle there, whereas Sylvia's eye has got these great big webs on the hands and, on the hands and feet. He first came across this unusual tree frog in Central America in 1998, but he was only allowed to take this picture. He was later given permission to go back and take a frog for further study. The problem is tree frogs aren't exactly easy to find. There are more than 50 in this tank alone and you'd be lucky to find five. And it took Andrew another 20 years to find his new frog again. It was amazing to be able to remember what it looked like after 20 years and to realise that actually it clearly was so different um, and to do, be able to do the genetics. We've covered every aspect to really show that this is a different species. So thanks to Andrew's work, this little one's known as the splendid tree frog and this big one is a new species with a new name. The name Sylviae is named after my granddaughter um, who to me is magical. Sylvia's three year old and um, she's a really bright child and, um, and she's really beautiful. Naming a new species is the pinnacle of a zoologist's career, but Andrew can't relax just yet because he's got another granddaughter. My other daughter, she's actually had a, a, a recently had a little little girl as well, um, Azori, and she's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, that that that's what she looks like. She's a little star, so. The pressure's on, I think, to get, get, find another frog. <laughs> so maybe somewhere out there, there's an Azori frog just waiting to be discovered. Matthew Bone, BBC Northwest Tonight, Manchester.